What industry is a lot shadier than it seems? Trucking. The margins are razor thin and so everyone is trying to nickel and dime each other. Constantly. The drivers lie to their dispatchers. The dispatchers lie to the brokers. The brokers lie to the clients. All of this for like $50,100 sometimes. Avocado farms Most of the farms in Central America are taken over by the cartel because of how much money is in selling avocados. Recycling. A lot of stuff gets shipped to Asia or just dumped in a landfill. The wig industry. There are pretty much only two wig makers in the world and they repackage the wigs according to what company you buy from. So a Beyonce at one company might be another company's Auburn Blonde. Also when I worked for a company we had a lifetime guarantee on the wigs. So people would have it for a few years then return it. All we did was wash it in an industrial washing machine. Restyle it then sell it as new. Nursing homes. The maritime industry. Most of the big companies do things by the book and treat crews well because they're afraid of lawsuits and unions. But many smaller, mom and pop companies break laws and violate safety regulations with reckless abandon because they're not as visible and can stay under the radar, so to speak. It's very common for a small company to ask a captain crew to do something illegal and dangerous in order to increase profit, and for the captain crew to comply out of fear of losing their jobs. And that's just the US maritime industry. Sailors from poorer nations who work on ships are often fed little more than rice and cheap ramen for months at a time and paid pennies for their backbreaking work. I love running tugs for a living. But the industry as a whole is rife with shady business. Hearing aids. Lots of unqualified people selling hearing aids with a 500% markup or more. So basically every industry is shady? Most consultancies. It's very rare you get a specialized service. They come up with a common method for doing things. Apply it to most projects. And charge thousands a day for it. People working unloading suitcases at the airport. I have a friend working there and he says a lot of workers steal things from the suitcases. All industries are shadier than they seem. I used to work for a flute manufacturer and it was shady as hell. Clothing donation bins. It all gets sorted and separated and sold. The trash gets donated at the very very bare minimum required. Twelve years ago my old warehouse landlord had a $50 million dollar business just sorting the clothes. Vintage designer stuff got sold for top dollar. Medium quality sold in bulk. Shit quality sold in bales by weight. Garbage quality donated. They had 20 employees just sorting belts he told me lol. Same goes for book donations. Better world books. Thrift books. It all gets sold on Amazon and the trash recycled or exported to third world countries. Less than 5% of profits got donated and since they wear non-profits executive pays wear sky high and corporate profits beat zero. Forestry. The mattress business might have more layers than you think. Despite the shadows, there's always room for bright spots. Fine art dealers. Apparently it's a massive and regulated gray market that is largely about money laundering. Realtors. Palm oil. A lot of displaced male orangutans are sold to circuses or collectors. A lot of displaced female orangutans are sold to brothels. College book industry. Cars for kids. The charity with the annoying jingle. Uses all of the proceeds from the charity to fund a sister organization called URA. 
whose stated goal is to spread ultra-Orthodox Judaism and convert Jews into Hasidism. Funeral Business Guilting little old ladies into spending money they don't have to give their husbands a funeral. They deserve. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.